to record the class. Okay, here we are. Listen, girls and boys, in the first hour, okay, we have learned this vocabulary about different sports, okay? Okay, Leslie and Iris, please. What is the name of the first sport, the first one? Hockey. Hockey, that's perfect, very easy. Number two? Rabbit. Rabbit. Number three? Surfing. Surfing, very good. Number four? Cricket. Cricket, very good. Now let's make it more difficult. I guess a little more difficult. Listen, what is the name of this? What is the name of this object, this equipment? Ah, uh, yeah. Ball. Ah, do you? This equipment. Ah, very good. Okay, let's see, let's see. What is the name of this equipment? Uh, Google. It's perfect. What is the name of this equipment? Helmet. 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 Perfect. Helmet. Helmet. Next. What is the name of this sport? Cycling. 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 Very good. What is the name of this? Badminton. Badminton. Perfect. And what is the name of this equipment? Racket. Yeah. Racket. Okay, racket. similar. Racket in Spanish and English, racket. And the last one, what is the name of this equipment? Wine this surfing. Wine surfing. Okay, this sport is wine surfing. So, we have learned about sports and we have learned about equipment. Now, we are going to go to your books. Okay, your books are in the platform, okay? in the platform. Now, if you print out the paper, excellent. If you have your book, excellent. But if you don't have, don't worry. Si no lo tienes, don't worry. Listen. Okay. subieron las cosas a la plataforma? Yes, it's in the platform. Okay? But if you don't have, si no puedo entrar a la plataforma. Tell me, tell me, Iris. No, no me deja entrar. No me deja okay. entrar a la plataforma. O sea, dice que no hay, no hay usuario o no sé. Ok, ok, Iris. I'm going to see you that later. Luego lo veo, ok? But don't worry. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have the book or you don't have the paper, don't worry, ok? You participate and later you complete the exercises, ok? So, Let's go, let's go to your book. Today, we are going to work on this page, okay? You need number eight. And you need number eight is about a world of sports, okay? And this reading, this reading, it's about this question. And Camila, please, can you read this question? Can you read, please? What? What sport do students do in British school? British school, perfect. This reading is about what sports British students do in their schools. Okay, for example, here in Peru, what sports we do? We play soccer, we play volleyball, and... and Tennis, maybe, tennis. But in British school, they do different sports. They do rabbit, they do athletic, badminton, okay? They do different sports. So, let's read, listen, huh? let's read this short test, okay? It's very short, and then we are going to complete some exercises, okay? It's very, very easy. It's not difficult. I'm going to choose the volunteers, okay? And my first volunteer is Leslie. Please, Leslie, can you read this description, please? British. Okay, Leslie. Come British on, people. Me. Can you read, please, Leslie? British people. This one. Here. 
The black ah, one. Yeah. Color black. Okay. Tengo que leer. Yes, Leslie, please. The British people love sport and playing sport is part of the curriculum in her British schools today. Physical education at the school is important for their coordination and help students learn to be part of a team. It's also great fun. Very good, Leslie. Thank you. I'm going to read again. Okay. British people love sport and playing sport is part of the curriculum in all British school today. Physical education at a school is important for their coordination and it helps students learn to be part of a team. It's also great fun. Okay, now let's see. Uh, Carolina, please. Can you read letter, Camila, sorry. Can you read letter A, please? In summer, in summer, students play tennis and do uh, athletic. At, athletic a lot of schools. You see the log sports center park or sports studio for athletics and swimming lessons. In more tradition, school students learn to play great to do re the summer team SM take place in school, gyms, and ladies' education. Lesson stop. Send students of learn dancing or they go on school trip, trip to dog activities, uh, live, wind, sun, walking, or or cycling. 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 Very good, Camila, very good. Iris, please help me. Can you read letter B, please, Iris? In most. Okay. In most school, the students play football and rabbit in winter. Then sometimes also play hockey, not all of the sport they play in winter are out. ¿Cómo se dice eso? Outdoors. Outdoors, sport, however. Yes. In the sports like basketball, the table tennis, and badminton are popular sports that everyone can do. And most schools have the basketball and badminton courts. Thank you, Iris. And letter C, I'm going to read letter C, okay? What is badminton? Badminton is a game similar to tennis, but we don't play outside. We play it inside on a small court. You need racket and a net, like tennis. But in badminton, the racket is small and light. The net is high, not low. Instead of a ball, you use a shadlock. The shadlock is made of plastic and is very light. The aim, the purpose of the game is to hit the shadlock over the net into the other side of the court. The other player tries to hit it back. You score points when he doesn't hit the shot lock. Okay, so Leslie, Camila, Camila and Iris, congratulations. Your pronunciation is very good. Huh? I like your pronunciation. Now, Leslie, Camila and Iris, here we have two words. Okay, we have the word outdoor and we have the word indoor, okay? Do you know what is the difference between outdoor and indoor? 
Do you know the difference? Leslie, Camila, Iris, do you have an idea what is the difference between outdoor and indoor? No? Okay, don't worry. Listen, this is the difference, okay? Outdoor are the activities that you do in the park, that you do in the stadium, okay? These are outdoor activities. Activities al aire libre, okay? That is the meaning of outdoor, fuera de fuerza, aire libre, okay? Activities that you do on, on the park, on the stadium. And indoor, indoor, in, are the activities that you do in a special place, which is closed, uno que está closed, okay? Cerrado. For example, I don't know. Badminton, for example, badminton or basketball or table tennis that you can, that you do in a closed place. Okay, that is the difference between outdoor and indoor. Understood the difference, yes or no? Or no. so, so? No, okay, I'm going to explain again. Les explico otra vez. Outdoor, are activities that you do in open areas, okay? Areas abiertas, abierto, okay? Al aire libre. En indoor, in closed places, en lugares cerrados, okay? For example, basketball, badminton, tennis, table tennis, okay? Activities that are in places that are closed, en lugares Close, cerrados, okay? E outdoor places open, abiertos, okay? Now understood the difference, entendieron? Yes? Or so, so? Yes. Yes, okay, that's perfect. So let's see, let's see. Listen, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you some exports, and you need to tell me outdoor or indoor. Ustedes me van a decir outdoor or indoor, okay? Very easy, huh? Let's see. Mm. Surfing, surfing, indoor or outdoor? Outdoor. Outdoor, very good. Rabbit, rabbit, indoor or outdoor? Outdoor. Outdoor, very good. Now, let's see. Mm. Basketball, basketball, indoor or outdoor? Indoor. Indoor, indoor very good. Ballet classes, ballet classes, outdoor or indoor. indoor? Indoor. Very good, perfect. That is the difference, okay? So, ladies, now you are experts, okay? You are experts in that vocabulary and you are experts, okay, in these words. Now, let's go to activity number one. In activity number one, we are going to listen to the audio and give a check to the correct sports, okay? I'm going to play the audio two times. The first time, try to concentrate, okay? Try to concentrate and write the name of the sports. And in the second time, you tell me the answers and I give a check, okay? You need to listen to the correct sports, okay? Understood, yes or no? Come on, understood, entendieron? Or so, so? Yes, okay, that's perfect. Let's see, I'm going to play the audio. One, two, and three. Listen, please. Exercise one, school sports. What sports do students do in British schools? British people love sport, and playing sport is part of the curriculum in all British schools today. Physical education at school is important for their coordination, and it helps students 
learn to be part of a team. It's also great fun. In most schools, students play football and rugby in winter. They sometimes also play hockey. Not all of the sports they play in winter are outdoor sports, however. Indoor sports, like basketball, table tennis, and badminton, are popular sports that everyone can do. And most schools have got basketball and badminton courts. In the summer, students play tennis and do athletics. A lot of schools use the local sports centre, park, or sports stadium for athletics and swimming lessons. In more traditional schools, students learn to play cricket too. During the summer term, exams take place in school gyms, and physical education lessons stop. Instead, students often learn dancing, or they go on school trips to do activities like windsurfing, walking, or cycling. What is badminton? Okay, perfect. Now, ladies, listen. I'm going to play the audio again, okay? And you need to tell me the name of the sport that you hear on the audio, okay? Let's see. Leslie, please, your microphone. Leslie, your microphone. Okay, thank you, Leslie. Pay attention, huh? Okay, Camila, Leslie, and Iris. Let's listen, and you need to tell me the name of the sport, okay? One, two, and three. They sometimes also play hockey. Okay, what is the name? Very easy, huh? Okay. Hockey, okay, that's perfect. Okay, let's continue. Education at school is important for their coordination. It helps. Profe, no escucho bien. It's also great fun. In most schools, students play football and rugby in. Okay, there are two games. Which ones? Football. Football and rugby. Rabbit. Rabbit, perfect. Let's continue. In winter, they sometimes also play hockey. Not all of the sports they play in winter are outdoor sports, however. Indoor sports, like basketball, table tennis, and badminton. Okay, there are three sports. Which ones? Basketball. Basketball, what more? Okay. Okay, it's here. It's from. It's here. Oops. Table tennis. Okay. Let's listen. Okay. Indoor sports like basketball, table tennis, and badminton. Okay, we have basketball, table tennis. One is missing. Badminton. Badminton. Perfect are popular sports that everyone can do. And most schools have got basketball and badminton courts. In summer, students play tennis and do athletics. Okay, then we have two more sports. Which ones? Tennis. Tennis, perfect. And athletics. Tismo, athletics. Athletics, perfect. Let's continue. A lot of schools use the local sports center, park, or sports stadium for athletics and swimming lessons. Ah, then we have one more. Swing? Mm. Okay, I'm going to repeat that part. Listen. A lot of schools use the local sports center park or sports stadium for athletics and swimming lessons. Okay, swing. 
Okay, you go to the beach, you go to the pool, to play soccer or swimming? Swimming. 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 Perfect, that is the name, swimming. Let's continue. In more traditional schools, students learn to play cricket too. Okay, they play cycling or cricket? Cricket. Cricket, perfect. Let's continue. During the summer term, exams take place in school gyms and physical education lessons stop. Instead, students often learn dancing or they go on school trips to do activities like windsurfing, walking. Okay, they go to vacations to play golf or windsurfing? We surf. Good, perfect. Next. Or cycling. Ah, volleyball or cycling? cycling? Cycling. Very good, perfect, ladies. Let's check your answers. Look, all your answers are correct. Perfect, congratulations. All your answers are perfect, okay? Very, very, very good. Okay, I like it. Very good, ladies. All your answers in activity number one were perfect. Now, let's do activity number three, okay? And then at the end, activity number two. In activity number three, we need to write the name of this, of this equipment. Let's see. It is Leslie, Camila, and Mauricio. What is the name of number one? Net. Net. Very good. Is a net. Okay. Very good. And what is the name of number two? Let's ball. see. Ball. 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 Very good. Ball. Ball. Okay. Perfect. It's a ball. Now, you are experts, huh? What is the name of number three? Racket, racket. Racket, racket, perfect. Excellent, racket. And what is the name of number four? Ah, number four is kind of difficult, okay? Let's see, let's read again. Huh? Here we have in letter C, we have the name of this object. It's not a ball. It has another name. It's here. Here is the answer. Who can tell me? Here is the answer. What is the oh, name of this object? Should lock. Should lock. Perfect. That is the answer. Okay, that is the name of that, of that object. Should lock. Okay, that is the name. It's weird. Very, very weird. Teacher, what is the meaning of weird? ¿Qué significa weird? Extraño. Okay, it's very weird, the name. But that is the name. Perfect. Now, ladies and Mauricio, tell me, here we have net, ball, racket, and shoot lock. There is one object, there is one object that we don't use to play badminton. There is one object that we don't play to, we don't use to play badminton. Which one? Well, there is one that we don't use to play badminton. The net, the ball, the racket, or the shot lock. Okay, tell me, ah, huh? understood the question, entendieron el question? There is one object, one equipment that we don't use, not use to play badminton. Which one? ¿Cuál? ¿El net? ¿El ball? ¿El racket? ¿O el chat lock? Who can tell me? El net. El net. Mm, very close. In to play badminton, you use the net. Si utilizamos el net. The racket. No entendí la pregunta. Yes, you, you use the racket. 
to hit the ball. Utilizamos el racket to hit the ball. Ay, ay. Ah, now. Okay, I'm going to help you. Huh? To play badminton, we use the ball or we use the chuck lock. Badminton. Ball or chuck lock? Which one we use? ¿Cuál utilizamos en badminton? ¿El ball o el chat lock? Chat lock. El chat lock. Perfect. So, ball, goodbye. You know. ¿Ok? No. To play badminton, we use the net, we use the racket, and we use the chat lock. The ball is for badminton or for tennis? Tennis. Tennis. This one is for Tennis, okay, tennis. Very good, ladies. Perfect. Now, now let's complete activity number two. Okay, activity number two, we are going to answer these questions. Okay, first orally, okay, first orally, and in your houses, in your houses, you write the answer. Okay, in your houses, you write the answer. Let's see. Um, Camila, please, can you read question number two? Can you read question number two, please? What sport do brain students play in ring, winter? Very good. British students play in winter. Let's see the answer. Huh? What okay. sports they do in winter? Let's see. Tell me, tell me, the answer tan, 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 is here. The answer is here in letter okay. B. Hockey, okay, very good. In winter, they play hockey. What more? Let's see, let's see. What more they play in winter? Football. Football, football but here, okay, football, football, football. No, football is not here. Yeah, I did say play football. Ah, yes, they play football. Perfect. What more? And rabbit. And rabbit. And rabbit. Very good. What more? These are activities that they do in winter. What more? Look. Badminton. Basketball. Badminton. Perfect. What more? Basketball. Perfect. So, British. Tennis. Excellent. Table tennis. It here. Table tennis, perfect. So, British student playing in winter. Okay, this is the answer. Huh? British students play in winter. Football, yes. rabbit, hockey, table tennis, basketball, and badminton. Perfect. Now, Iris, please, can you read question number three? Okay. Uh, when summer? Okay, read the complete question, please. What sports? Yeah. What sports and activities do they do in summer? Do they do in summer? Very good. Let's see. The answer is here in letter Athletics. A. Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. They do. What more? Tennis. Um, tennis, okay, tennis, perfect. Um, tennis, what more? Uh, uh, Look, athletic, okay, swimming, perfect. What more? Cricket. Cricket, very good. Let's see. Gym. gym. Okay, uh, no, they play cricket in the gym. Gym is the place. Gymnastic is the activity. Gym is the lugar. Gymnastic, the sport. But here, yeah. here we have more. Look. Wine summer. Cycling. Excellent. Cycling. What more? Wine, wine surfing. Summer. Excellent. E walking. Walking. Perfect. So the answer is this. What sports and activities do they in summer? You say, in summer, in summer, they do athletic, swimming, cricket, wine surfing, walking, and cycling. That is the answer. Perfect. Let's see. 
Number four. Let's see, Leslie, please, can you read number four, please? Can you read a question, Leslie? Leslie, are you there, Stasaji? Okay, Leslie, please, read question number four. What happens? When there are exams in school? Excellent. What happens when there are exams in a school? Let's see. The answer, the answer is here. Okay. What happens when they have exam in the school? Look, the answer is here. Huh? I'm going to circle. The answer is here. Who can tell me for one extra point? What happened with physical education classes? Mm -hmm. Let's see, let's see. Who can tell me? Camila, Leslie, Iris, Mauricio. Perfect. What happened? It's, uh, it's here, huh? Here is the answer. Tan, 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 let's see. <gasps> Come on, listen. Listen to the question again, huh? What happened when there are exams? What happened with the physical education classes? Okay. Okay, I'm going to tell you. The answer, ladies, the answer is this, okay? The answer is this. During the summer exams take place in the school gym. Listen, physical education lessons stop. Okay, that is the answer. What happened during exam? Physical education lessons, physical education classes stop. Okay, that is the answer from number four. Very easy. Come on, it's it's not difficult. Camila, please help me in number five. What is badminton? Thank you, Camila. What is badminton? Let's see. The answer is here. Uh, is in the is in the two first lines. Is here. What is badminton? Who can who can tell me the answer? What is badminton? <laughs> Badminton is a game similar to tennis, but we don't play it in Occident. Very good, Camila. What is badminton? Hey, teacher, what is badminton? Badminton is a game similar to tennis, okay? That is the answer. So, number five, let's see, to complete number five, it is, please. Can you read number five, Iris, please? Uh, yeah. How do how do you Okay? Yeah, really. Yeah. Um, how do you score points in the sport? Excellent, Iris. How do you score? What is the meaning of a score? For example, Cristiano Ronaldo, go, 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 go! He scored a point. What is the meaning of a score? Ano? Okay. What is the meaning of a score? No, no lo entiendo. Okay. What is the meaning of a, sport, a score? For example, you say, eh, Paulo Guerrero, Paulo Guerrero, go! He scored a point. What is the meaning of a score? Profe, sigo sin entender. Y, okay. Camila, Leslie, no? Okay. A score a point o a score points means anotar un punto, anotar un gol. Okay? Very, very easy. Okay? How do you score points? Anotas. Okay? Anotar un punto. And the answer is here. Uh, the answer is here. Who can tell me the answer very quickly? Who can tell me the answer? How do you score a point? 
que... Let's see. Camila, Iris, Leslie, Mauricio, Iris. ¿Qué? Tell me. The, the question is this. Uh, how do you score points? The answer is here. Who can tell me? Come on, it's here. ¿Qué cosa? No entiendo. Okay. The answer, la respuesta de esta pregunta, how do you score points, is here. Está aquí. Está aquí encerradito. Ah, ¿el rojo? Yes. Sería when he doesn't hit he Creo que sí. sí. Es que, look, very good, Camila. You score points when he doesn't hit the scale. Okay, that is the answer. Hey, how you score a point when he doesn't hit the scale? Hit means golpear, okay? Gol golpea la pelotita, the scale. So, ladies and boys, we have finished with the class, okay? Very good participation, okay? I like your participation and your pronunciation. Me ha gustado su participación y pronunciación. Listen, the only homework is this. 